Okay, so the um, transcoding process is now complete. Uh, but before I go on, I want to say a couple things about the times that I stated. Um, that you saw it was like two and a half hours, and, and I said it was going to be about two hours. It actually that depends on your processor. Uh, when I said I, I set up ten a night, and it's done by the time I wake up, because I'm shooting this video or this uh, screencast, I'm doing on my laptop, which is a slower processor than my uh, desktop, which is uh, has far more capability, and it'll do it quicker. So if you've got a very uh, beefy CPU, uh, it's going to go even faster than the times that I've set. So the times were, are all a function of your processing power. Okay, so uh, what, what you're left with after the transcoding is complete is a video uh, file. Uh, in this case, we have diehard.m4v. And it is an MP4 file, but um, handbrake because it's going to go into iTunes, named it M4V, which is, uh, I guess it's just an Apple thing. Uh, before we add the metadata, I want to show you that the file size of this is 1.58 gigabytes when the full video folder was 8.35 gigabytes. You can see it's a huge savings in uh, disk space and um, what you end up uh, seeing is a file that is it's imperceptible the difference between this one and the uh, original DVD. The H.264 compression is uh, quite good. All right, now we need to add metadata to this. And I'm using on the Mac an application called uh, MetaZ. And uh, MetaZ is based off another application that was called MetaX. And uh, it had some issues and the developer stopped uh, developing it. It was uh, open source software. And uh, there is a MetaX on the PC that uh, works better than the MetaX on the, on the Mac did. And also there's uh, an application that if you want you might try, it's called EasyTag. And uh, there's, you can use any application you want really, uh, it, as long as it makes it uh, easy for you to add metadata. Uh, you could also just import this file directly into iTunes and update the metadata there. But uh, the reason I like doing it here is because you can, uh, it, the uh, software will go out onto the internet and find a lot of metadata for you. So we'll go ahead and open that up. And uh, so it's going to come up and here you can see it found Die Hard. And uh, it's going to give you uh, album art. Uh, they even have a Blu-ray version. Um, and then again, it based it on the title name that you put in there. So you put Die Hard and it went and found all the different versions of Die Hard, like Live Free or Die Hard. But uh, so we're just going to stick with Die Hard. And then you, you click on all the attributes that you want. And uh, you can go ahead and select these. Well, one thing that um, you, if you want, you can put your own album art in here too. So if you can go online and do a Google search for, um, say, the movie poster, you can just drag and drop the video, the, um, the JPEG or the, whatever, the PNG into, into this space here, and it will use that file instead. And uh, it went ahead and found the director, producer, and uh, you, if you know the screenwriter, you can go to IMDb and put that in there yourself. And sorting, this is an iTunes thing, and uh, the chapters. And some of the chapters, it will actually have names for them. And uh, that's that. We're going to hit uh, go. And this is going to, over a couple minutes, it's going to write the file back out, but with the metadata included. All right, so MetaZ has done its thing, and it has left us a file, diehard.m4v, with the album art that we just uh, selected in the application. It, it's a little hard to see here, but uh, that is the album art that was selected. Um, before I add this to iTunes, what I want to do is open it up with QuickTime and show you a couple things. So we'll bring this up, and um, okay, so first thing I want to show you is in the uh, movie inspector here that it has the title of the, of the file added. It has the actor, so this is the metadata that we put in there. And it has a little synopsis of uh, the, um, the movie. Uh, this is what we added through the MetaZ. So I'm gonna hit play, and the movie's gonna start here. And you can, it's gonna be hard to pick that up, but the audio is playing. And um, what we have there is the uh, stereo track. And that's what I was saying earlier that on the Macintosh anyway, it will find the track that it knows how to play. 
if I go to um, languages and I select the first uh, track, which was track one, if you recall back in the uh, encoding process, it now says AC3 5.1, shows left, center, right, left surround, right surround, and uh, subwoofer. So I'm gonna hit play here, and we no longer can hear it. So this tells me that the file has been written properly and uh, that it's ready to go into um, iTunes. So now what I'm gonna do is bring up iTunes, and I'm going to add to the library. I'm going to select Die Hard, and it's going to start copying the movie. Now, it's going to take uh, uh, maybe about uh, anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute, depending on the file size, for the movie to be copied. And uh, we're just going to let that go, and uh, we'll be back here in a second. Okay, so uh, here we are looking at the iTunes after the... Um, uh, movie has been imported. You can see it has the cover art that we talked about and uh, we can get information and uh, Under info it has information about the actors the year uh, Under video it has a description uh, Under sorting it has um, the sort name and uh, so on and so forth So if you wanted at this point you could modify these things here manually if you wanted to put uh, some information about the, the video, if you want to enhance it, you're free to do so here. Uh, the process is, um, if you're doing one at a time, it's not a big deal to do this step manually. But for me, because I ended up encoding about 200 movies, I wanted it to be as automated as uh, possible. So the key here now is that uh, I have home sharing turned on. And um, now my Apple TV will find this Mac and uh, under iTunes you can have a name for it it's called uh, PowerBook music but I can change this to be anything I want uh, wow I can't believe it says PowerBook that's carried over from the old days <laughs> it should say MacBook but anyway um, so in my situation I have uh, a server called the Mac mini server that's where all my videos are the other thing I've done is in my library I have pointed the library to an external hard drive so on this particular case this is on my local hard drive but I have an external hard drive connected to that Mac mini server and uh, in that case you know if you want you can even use a Drobo and it would handle all the backups and that kind of thing but what I end up doing is I have two two terabyte hard drives and I just uh, make a copy of the iTunes folder onto that um, the secondary hard drive um, and that's it. Uh, now that it's in here and I've got the home sharing turned on, my Apple TV sees all the videos, all the album art, all the metadata, and you have built yourself um, and you have built yourself a video server out of a $99 Apple TV and about a $500 Mac Mini. Or if you've got a PC, I, I guess you shouldn't. I, I shouldn't say it has to be a Mac Mini. It could be any computer that has iTunes that has uh, sharing turned on. Whether it be PC, Macintosh, uh, it can be dedicated, it can be a laptop, it doesn't matter. But uh, this is a very simple way to make an Apple TV turn into a video server. So that's all there is. Hope you found this video informative. I'll be posting links to all the applications that we talked about in the video on our website at www.htguys.com. And that'll be in the news and more section. If you've got any questions that I didn't cover, please feel free to fire off an email to hdtvpodcast at mac.com and I'll do my best to get an answer out to you as quick as I can. You can support the show in a couple of ways. We do have a free iOS application in iTunes and you can download it. It's iAd supported, so if you download it and you click on the sponsors, uh, that helps out the show a lot. We appreciate it. Uh, I'll be trying to release an iPad app that incorporates video uh, sometime in January. Also, we have a, a store, it's a front end to Amazon, and you can get to it by going to htguys.com shop. Thanks for watching, I'm Ara Derdarian.